The medical campus Würzburg is the venue for cutting-edge research in the field of infection biology and RNA-based infection research. Here, scientists from the Helmholtz Institute and the Julius Maximilians University have paved the way for a novel COVID testing method. Compared to many standard diagnostic methods, such as the PCR test used in the pandemic, it is of decisive advantage. Standard PCR tests are really looking for one thing, and it's telling you that one thing is there or it's absent, like you have SARS-CoV-2 or you don't. But oftentimes you want more information than that. For instance, do I have one of the variants? Is it a different virus? Or is it something entirely different? And these simple tests don't give you that information. The newly developed diagnostic platform Leopard is highly multiplexable with the potential to detect a variety of disease-related biomarkers in just one test. Based on experiments with the model organism Campylobacter, the Würzburg researchers discovered how the CRISPR technology can be translated into a powerful diagnostic platform. So CRISPR-Cas is now widely known as a molecular scissor, but originally CRISPR-Cas is a bacterial immune system that protects them, for example, against viruses. And when we were looking for RNA molecules in our model organism Campylobacter that are bound to the Cas9 nuclease, we were really surprised to see that we do not only see the CRISPR RNAs from the bacterial immune system, but also other cellular RNAs that are bound by the Cas9 nuclease. This was really unexpected because so far it was assumed that these CRISPR RNAs are only associated with the immune system, but these new RNAs were actually derived from other cellular transcripts, indicating that any RNA that is expressed in the cell can be converted into a CRISPR RNA, and this can then target this molecular scissor to the um, target DNA. And this was then the basis of LEP. So-called tracer RNAs are particularly relevant for leopard. So the idea was, can we take these tracer RNAs, change them, so rather than matching up with some of the RNAs in Campylobacter, they can match up with RNAs of interest to us. It worked. In the process, guide RNAs are generated that control the gene scissors. So by looking to see which of our DNAs are cut, we can figure out which RNAs were present in that sample. And in turn, we can say this person has either SARS-CoV-2, one of the variants, the flu, or many other possibilities, all in one test. However, more time will be needed before the new technology becomes available to patients. It's a little difficult to say when patients will be able to benefit from Leopard as a product. Developing diagnostics is a matter of years rather than months, but I very much hope that we'll have made one big step forward by the end of next year. I think Leopard is just the beginning. We've already started new collaborations with the University Hospital Würzburg to bring findings of RNA research into the clinics, for instance, to develop mRNA therapeutics to treat human diseases.